Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. Hi, hey, what is up and how is your day going? Tell me in the comments. You probably saw that video and you're like, oh, this girl's a drunkard. I'm not a drunkard. Don't judge me, please. That's all I can say. Thank you. <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to go out. I'm on the mission to find the correct shade of foundation for myself. And I'll be going to Boots and Super Drug just to see my options i'm looking for the l'oreal paris true match foundation in my shade and the maybelline fit me like i have this one but it's not my shade so i always have to mix extensively to get my correct shade it's been a bummer this week has been such a stressful week for me i've just been out and about i don't want to like go into details traveling mm, i'll call it traveling but not much of traveling but i've like been really stressed like mentally and physically after the whole going out thing that i had i think it was on sunday i was so tired like i slept through the whole of monday didn't do like much of work like i didn't do like editing and filming or anything because i had plans to do but i just I became so tired and i slept through the whole day then it just kind of made my whole week go down a hill, I guess. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can see how my lips are eating. I use the NYX Professional Makeup Lip Liner in shade Coco because I think that's the one closest to my lips. I'm in love with it. I used e.l.f. which is, I think, when it comes to drugstore makeup, I think my favorite brands are e.l.f., NYX, and Maybelline. And maybe it's not going towards L'Oreal Paris, but at the moment, e.l.f. is basically my best friend. Like, e.l.f. the sponsor. I don't know how you want to sponsor me, but sponsor me. I just finished ordering their e.l.f. Hollow Glow Filter and their setting spray. I used their lip gloss. I used some of their skincare. Like, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Anyways, I am about to head out. It's currently 11.22 a.m. And like I said, I want to go out and get some foundation. And I'm also getting a facial mist. This is the one I use, Mario Badesco. But like, it has finished. And I'm in love with facial mist. Like, I've become so obsessed with facial mist that I have to have it in my skincare routine. Like, it's, it has to be a thing. It has to be within, you know? It has to be there. Like, I've become so obsessed. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing. This is from Pot. Some basic jeans. These black. I don't know what they're called. But it says Questa Red. But I got them from the thrift store. So, yeah. It's currently like it's 9, 10 degrees outside. It's windy, but I'm not about to start wearing my puffer jacket. And I need to really invest in a puffer jacket that is like not like a dress. You know what I'm saying? Look at this high look. It feels so cozy. Like, hello? Hello? Yeah. <laughs>
Hampton. I just got back and I've changed into more comfortable clothes. Got my socks on, some shorts and a green sweater i've been out for a few hours it wasn't too hectic it was quite good i'm really wondering why do i have lots of amazon packages that i have been saving these packages for when i would film this video that's how dedicated i am period but let's start with what i got from the shops so i got fabric conditioner totally unrelated i also got boots prescription i had something to deal with off of the important stuff so i went to boots and i went to l'oreal paris section and i didn't see the one that i thought would fit me best i had these two shades of foundation which i wasn't sure would fit me best for some reason there wasn't really anyone that could help me you know with that question in the sense of they looked like they weren't gonna help so i just asked anyone i saw <laughs> until i found somebody who was willing to actually help so the person i asked didn't work for boots she worked for number seven so she wasn't really inclined to really answer my question but she helped anyways so if you're wondering number seven is like, like i think it's the best in the uk so she helped me with what foundation would fit me best then she offered and said you know what my brand as in number seven we offer different shades of foundation i'll be foundation matcher for you now let's try the device on you and that's how she recruited me from buying l'oreal paris to number seven and i found my exact match and i don't know how to feel because i've never really like seen much reviews about it but then it felt really good on my skin so why not this is how the brand looks i got this in the shade bam boo that's my skin this is how it looks like and it makes sense i can't believe i'm actually trying this i'm actually really so happy because i've been looking for anything that looks like my skin okay that's it tell me that's not my skin like it's the best you could find I Yes! Okay, let's see my forehead. Like, I could wear foundation and nobody will know. That's my skin. That is my skin. You can't lie. I want to say thank you for women who are willing to help women because I asked all these women and they didn't answer me. They are giving me I'm too busy vibes. I mean, girl, you work there. Help me. Like, it's because I'm black. It's because I'm black. That's for that foundation. I also wanted to get the Maybelline foundation because besides me trying a new foundation, this is going to be my best forever and for life. Oh, see, it's too light, but yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. Oh well. I don't know if I'll return it. Maybe if I like try it better when I'm not recording. Maybe it to be better, but. For now, I'm already feeling it, you know? I also got these two concealers from the brand 17 and 17. Something closest to my shade and something that is not even close to my shade at all. But I'll be using it as contour because I like cream contour and cream blush. So I I couldn't find much cream blushes there. Like, I wanted, like, what I really want is like a blush cream palette. So I'll have all shades at once instead of having to buy different shades of blushes, you know? I ain't seen that there, so... Dang! I'm actually in love with it. I like it. Then the next thing we have my Mario Badesco facial mist. I have to restock because I feel so hydrated whenever I use it on my skin. Like I use it after I've cleansed my skin or like I've exfoliated my skin and I just love that up on my face and I feel like a princess. Then I got a headband because if this hair is going to really last, I'm not always going to allow it to fall on my face. I wanted a white one but they didn't have a white one. Then I just got body spray because I mean, why not? It smells so nice. That is all for I have bought. Now time to give you guys an unboxing. Let us start with this one. I think this one is a hair mask. Again, if you've been watching my videos, I've been talking about how I want to transition back into a natural Afro baby girl. It's probably a hair mask from Miel. 
It is. Milk. Hair mask that me yellow organics. Let's see this one. I don't know what these are. I'm hoping it's skincare because I've been hoping to get my Corsic Snail Mucin Serum and my sunscreen. Hopefully this is what it is. Hope. It is! Yay! I've been waiting for this for so long. I've gotten my baby. Yes, I'll use this thing so judiciously. I also have my two sunscreen. I got the Skin Aqua SPF 50. The Beauty of Joseon SPF 50. Are you guys seeing? Yeah, period. Skin Aqua and SPF 50. I don't know what's inside here. I'm guessing maybe it's shampoo and conditioner. Okay, this is just for dyeing my hair, which is probably not going to be now. So I only bought it because I don't want to spend the money on something else. I'm hoping that this is actually shampoo and conditioner because I'm actually waiting for that. It is! Yikes! I'm also going to be incorporating washing my hair in braids too. So I'm probably going to wash my hair this evening or tomorrow. More dyeing stuff. More dyeing stuff. Last thing we're unboxing is this. Oh my god, it's perfume! Yeah. Got this from Health Farm. We're gonna do a smell test. Oh. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> I wish you guys could actually smell this. I am definitely buying this particular perfume again. This is the Versailles perfume in Frenzy. Hopefully you can you can see that. But it comes in 15ml, 50ml and 100ml and it is inspired by the Black Opium by YSL. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. It smells so good. If you guys want to feel how I'm feeling and want a particular scent, use my link in the description box below and use my code CHIMSOM10 to get money off. Also, I'll leave the links to all the unboxed items I just unboxed <laughs> in this video in the description box below. Some are from Amazon, some are from Salvana. And yeah, that is the end of this entry i'll see you guys in another entry when i feel like talking to my phone once again in this video Mwah. hi we i got my package i've been waiting for for at least two weeks i ordered from timu i got myself a silk bonnet mea culpa beanie hat that's it dude so it's not it's not it's not the real one so yeah like just imagine me like slaying a really nice wig and i'm wearing this hello hello <laughs> speaker because my daddy gave me a speaker to come here with and it just stopped working this year january and i was so sad like because i always used to play music now i only play music through my galaxy projector it's not loud enough i like loud speaker i've been looking for how i need to invest in like tiny lunch boxes for school i'm so using this right now anyways that's my that's my unboxing bye <laughs> hi hi vlog Today we are getting ready because I'm going to my friend's showcase. They are basically in third year. They're basically graduated and I'm, and I'm going for their showcase. So like it's basically like when you invite agents and casting directors and you perform for the next year. That will be me doing a showcase at this time instead of filming a YouTube video. So period. <laughs> already kind of prepped my skin. So let me start by giving you guys a little update a little update i have gotten a second job i wouldn't really want to talk about my job on youtube because that's kind of private and that job would enable me to invest in my youtube channel and i don't know how to feel about it like i'm happy but at the same time that really takes a lot of my youtube time but thank god it's summer that means i get time i guess I'm also planning a trip. I'm planning a trip to 
I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Obviously going to vlog the whole thing for you guys, so that's quite exciting. I'm actually really quite happy about it because I've not left this place in a long time. <laughs> I was just thinking about how I've like done a deep dive in my content and I've realized, actually I've not realized, I've actually noticed I've actually always known this but YouTube only pushes my content when it's vlogs and I don't have a problem with doing vlogs but it's just that it's just weird so like I, I'm from now on I'm going to try and do only vlogs I mean that's going to be so hard if that's the only thing YouTube wants me to do I, I want to try different types of content but youtube doesn't want to agree she says no just do vlogs that is what you guys are going to receive from now on probably i'll stray and do like ranking outfits or i'll stray and do outfits videos or i might just do fun videos but i'll do mostly vlogs so hooray we have set the under highs but then again, that is also really hard to do because there's nothing to vlog. Like, this place is literally dead. Like, I'm always trying to be wicked, but like, it's literally dead. There's nothing to do. Doing stuff and like vlogging requires money. And I don't get money. <laughs> I don't want to do the same thing where you keep on seeing me in my room. But like, that's the thing I do. I, I my, my best place in the whole of this area is my room and my safe space there's nothing to do in any nothing to do unless i travel or i leave this place or go somewhere and it's sad can you see that growth my eyelashes have grown i'll be losing my hair soon because th this hair has, has tried for me it has actually tried for me because yeah it has tried for me when i was doing this hair i cut one side longer than the other side and it's just now i'm realizing I cannot come and kill myself. Oh, I'm gonna wear this by the way. This is how we're looking. Do I look good? I don't know. Do I look good? I don't know. But I hope I look good because I don't wanna look plain. Yeah. It's 12.09 and I'm very, very early. And I'm just gonna sit down on my bed and take pictures till it's 1.40, then I'll leave. I'm using the perfume I used, I unboxed in the beginning of this video. I love this perfume. And I'll wear these shoes afterwards. Can you tell my favorite color is green? Can you actually tell? I'm ready! I added like my lace beads and necklace and all my glasses. Period. I look so cute. Hello! Like damn, she need her move. 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 She lit. Get money too. Like damn, she need her move. Where you going? That's on you. Trying to try, trying to try. 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 Do you know, like, we have reached the end of this vlog, and I don't know what this vlog exactly was. Don't ask me what's going on with my cornrows. I can do braid on somebody else's head, like, as part attachment. I can braid myself as part attachment. I can do cornrows on somebody else's head, but not my head. That's why it looks preposterous. Pro mm -mm. I have a wig. I'm, I'm entering my wig era, period. <laughs> I don't try. I don't know exactly how this video went. 
if it was nice to you and you enjoyed it thank you thank you very much <laughs> hope you have a wonderful day and like comment and subscribe more vlogs coming by the way like i talked in the last entry more vlogs coming i think that is what i'm going to focus on more because yeah bye I love you and this week loves you too. Pretty bitch, but I came from the gutter. Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Going viral is getting them sicker. Like what? Let's keep it a bug. Bitch too boring, I'm stuck in a rut. Never get me wrong when I hop at the truck. Pretty bitch like Lauren with a big ass butt. Yeah, pretty face and a waist all gone. And I'm making them way hold on. And I'm making them way hold on. Way hold on.